All right, so here's what's up. What's up is we don't know what's up. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, I, I need you guys to just listen for a minute. And I know like I'm moving, I'm pouring more coffee, but I need you to just listen for a minute. Either you're still trying to get to Khan Academy or you're already there. Either way, I need you to listen. Guys, this is unprecedented. And I know you've already had class with Mr. Estes and Mr. Kabila to talk about this. We've never been in a, like an experience like this before. This is going to be longer than winter break. I know spring break is part of it, but look, this this has never happened. So you asking us like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We really don't know that well yet. I'm just guessing that's her by. Are you leaving now? She's got doctor's appointment. Yeah, I have an He thinks we're not coming back to school. I'm oh, sure is why he's saying no, that. No, I think for sure. It's a long time. Think. I, dude, there's a there's a decent chance that may actually happen. Really? I, we don't know, guys. We don't know. I think it'd be under If anything close to what happened in Italy or those other countries happens here, it'll be a while. Okay. So like, the whole what happened in If you're confused with Khan Academy right now, just stop. Everyone, if you need to take your hands off your keyboard or put your hands on your head or whatever, do it. But I need you to listen. Right now, Morgan, we are not telling you you have to. Because you walked in and said, do we have to? We don't know what the expectation is yet. We as teachers are unclear on what the expectation for us is. All we know is we're supposed to come to school on Monday, and that's probably when we'll figure out those details. Either that or we're waiting for emails today as we figure stuff out on the daily. Like literally hour by hour, minute by minute, things are changing. So on Monday, I will post a message on Schoology, because you should be getting on there anyway, should be other classes, telling you what the expectation is. Yes, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what social studies expectation is. So assuming that the expectation is that we continue with our learning, which by the way, I'll update this practice stuff and whatever. Oh, hey, look, one of my pens. <laughs> so random. Well, it, I must have tossed it in there because it's magnetic, but then I forgot about it. Assuming the expectation is that you are to keep working and keep learning, or at least keep practicing things, Khan Academy makes more sense than uh, CPM because of the instant help that you can get without me. The only reason that I have you joining my class is so I can quickly look at you as a group. There, aside from that, I am not planning to assign specific work to people. But what that means is what my expectation will be. If you're curious, if you have joined, you should be in this list. Math 7, spring 7th grade. Wait, did I give you guys the wrong code? I never got it. I was wrong. If I'm already there as your teacher, that's not what I'm talking about. You still need to join my class. Did you log in with Google? Okay, so then change the URL at the top. ConAcademy.org slash join. Change the URL at the top to ConAcademy.org slash join. Continue with Google. Not creating a... See, you did not log in before trying to join the class. So you've got to log in first. That's why it was number three. Okay, okay. You what? Yeah, so now change the URL to ConAcademy.org slash join. No, that is not, that doesn't matter. That was probably from Summer Stories. You need to type that class code in there. Did you? Okay. As long as you type in that class code, that's fine. But I like showing that you can do this from Summer Stories. You know what I mean? So are you going to do it if you join with that code? Back to you, did you join with that code? Did you log in with uh, me? No, but you should have logged in. Yeah, you know. Wait, Mr. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's just that they can still access you. All right. Hands off your keyboard, even if you're still working on things. Watch my screen. What I'm going to be asking of you, this is my assumption, but of course, stay tuned. What I'm going to be asking from you guys is to engage with the math 25 to 30 minutes a day. And what I mean by that is come to Khan Academy and do math. Period. I'm not. This is information everyone needs to hear. If you have a question, ask it so I can answer it for everyone. Well, she's eating. My grandma always did that. I just had to get okay with it. So, what this means is you come to Khan Academy, you click on courses which is not classes, you're not looking for Phoenix Math 7, and you just go to 7th grade math. You might have a percentage beside this, you might not. It does not matter. Click 7th grade. Everyone do that now. Click courses, go under math by grades, click 7th grade. Up at the top left, click courses. Under math by grade, click 7th. Courses, click math by seven, or math by grade, seven. Now, if if you see seventh grade mission, like right where it is, which hides, guys, that is like hidden. It's not big, it's not bright, it doesn't have any big button for you to push, like get started. Like obviously my eye is pulled to get started. But if you have mission, this is the easiest way for you to engage with math. Because what this does <clears throat> is like Netflix or Prime, when it uses an algorithm to say, here's a show you might like. On here, it says, here's an activity you should work on. And it starts judging based off what you've shown mastery of, and it won't waste your time. Now, right at the beginning, you might work on something, you're like, Psh, I know how to do this. It's getting to know you. Until it has data put into it, it's getting to know you. But if I went here to my mastery challenge, we don't know this yet probably, because we haven't gotten to that point in the year yet. The points in the year that we really haven't gotten to that we would be getting to in the next month, if you go to just the seventh grade content, if we scroll down the page, the, this section, we're, we're pretty much doing this right now. That's our chapter six mastery. But we have not really mastered rates and proportional relationships. We started it. That was chapter four. We did a lot with that. But you could work in there. Geometry, we have not done much with at all. So if you want a content specific, what should you practice? Geometry is a really good idea to practice. 
So let's say I want to go practice geometry. Everybody go to the seventh grade page if you need to get there again. Click here to seventh grade. Scroll down and click on geometry. Or you can scroll down like the side here so you can see everything. I'd like everyone to be looking at this page where it says area and circumference of circles. If I would like to start learning this stuff or practicing it, right here is my list of like what would come next. Do not worry about, oh my gosh, I can keep scrolling, there's all this, blah, 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 blah. don't worry about that. Just pick the top thing and go for it. So look here, that's a play icon. This is an article or like a page icon. And then the little pencil is the practice icon. So over here, there is no icon. But if you see over here or over here, the little little pencil icon, it means a practice activity. <clears throat> so if I'm in here learning about radius and diameter, here's why I love Khan Academy, like quite literally love Khan Academy. It is like you having me or an application smarter than me in your living room just ready when you need me. I'm just like sitting there waiting. Let me know if you need me. Just staring at the wall. Right? When you reach a point that you're like, ah, shoot, I don't know what I'm doing. Right here, stuck. Not like I'm an idiot or I'm stupid. No, you're stuck. Right? I love how Khan Academy phrases things. If you're stuck, what you should do is watch a video or use a hint. So it pops up the option. If I use a hint, it doesn't give me credit, but that's fine. I need some help. I shouldn't get credit towards mastery if I still need help. Or I could right click and open this video in a new tab, or if I just click on it, it will just take me there. And that video is a chalk talk reviewing radius, diameter, circumference, and pi. Is arguably the most fundamental shape. So Sal Khan, guys, if, if you know those like who would you meet and like have lunch with sort of things, Sal Khan is on my list of who I would want to go have lunch with. He, for years and years and years, like probably a good 20 years, has been building this website to try to provide anybody the ability to learn anything from anywhere for free. That's the point of Khan Academy. So how he presents things, and most of the videos are him, but some are some other people, is really, really clear. I can rewind it. I can slow it down. I can have the closed captioning on so I can make sure that it is what he meant to say. And most of the closed captionings, he's checked them. Occasionally, the CC is wrong, um, and it says something wrong. But like, I drew it smaller. Da da da. Like, I can watch, like, listen through here and read Let's what he that. says, and like, really make sure I understand what he says. But here's one of the coolest parts about Khan Academy. It's also a forum. What? So other people that have struggled with the same content have asked questions here, and have had them answered. So this is how, by experts, by people that are smarter than us. So guys, this is how I survived college. I'm not joking. This, not exactly Khan Academy, but math websites that have questions that other people have asked, someone else has struggled with the thing you're struggling with. Whether it's social or math or with your parents, or somebody else in the world has struggled with the same thing that you're struggling with. Maybe older brother's a jerk, or I don't know how to deal with my little sister growing up. But we're talking about math here, right? So are there any tips or tricks remembering equations? Like, well, they say the circumference cherry pie is delicious. Like what they just, even if it's not a straight up answer this math question for me, like, and I like to say crust is pie dough. So since I'm a teacher, I could probably come in here and try to respond to this and it might let me, but then somebody will check it and make sure it's right. Any of these leaf symbols, I believe, don't quote me, but I believe those are Khan Academy staff. Those are people that work for staff, like for Khan. So not only are the videos really useful, but then the forum that happens beneath it, and especially if you don't have headphones or anything, you can also click on transcript. That is what he said. That's how I know that the subtitles are correct. Somebody's written out the transcript of everything he said in the video. Then over here on the left, let's say I feel like I'm ready to jump to the next practice. I look for the pencil, right, if I zoom back in on the screen, that's a video, that's a video, but this is going to be practice. So I come to the practice, 
I try it, and if I get stuck, I can use a hint or watch a video and go back that way. If I feel like I'm ready for a quiz, I can review first and review everything we have. But then if I go back, right back up here to basic geometry, area, perimeter, guys, some of you are going to miss things that are part of like driving your way around here. This is how you know where you are. For some reason, it keeps defaulting. It thinks I'm in Andrew's math class, which was, I just tutored a kid over the summer. But if I go back to here, well, but that wasn't yours. That wasn't Andrew. There are quizzes and then eventually a test. So if you feel like you're ready to test your skills, but here, there's no help tools, right? Once you're ready for the quiz, there's not a help tool. It is testing, do you know this or not? So, all of that to say, if our expectation for you is to continue working while we're outside of school, it would be like this. Engage with Khan Academy for 25 to 30 minutes a day, or more if you want. Do an hour today, don't do it tomorrow. Like whatever, whatever you end up deciding to do. If your mom's gone for the day and you end up doing Khan Academy for like two hours, you might say, hey, I did all my math today. I'm not gonna say anything. Imagine this will be Sunday when you come to school. Like that sit down for a long time. Like four or five minutes for yeah. you to be like, wow, I'm not going to finish. And guys, trust me from someone who has struggled and like had those moments where you just want to cry because you don't understand something, this builds confidence. Like, all of you that are worried to ask a question or worried you'll get it wrong, who cares? It's a computer, right? Like, nobody on the other side of this gives a crap about who you are or what your grades are, right? Like, there's no, there's no danger. I can get every question wrong. Who cares? Now I should probably go back to something easier if I got every question wrong. But no one cares. Like I end up caring. But like while you're working through this, who cares? Like no, it's not like a, somebody's there to tell you no, you're wrong. It's just gonna tell you like whoops, try again. And it doesn't even say like nope, you're wrong. It, it says like whoops, try again. Or like you know think again before you like. It's really nice. Like they built this in a really nice manner. Logan? Um, so you guys are separate projects, like, like the Yeah. So then the reason I put you guys together in a class is so that I can then go to my dashboard, go to your class, and quickly look at data. So if I come here, and then I go to students, um, let's pick on Eric for a moment just because we know who he is. I can go and look at um, assignments that he's done, like things that I, but I'm not probably going to assign things. So I'm looking at his activity log, right? This morning, I can see, and this is good to show you what I see. I see problems you answered correct in total and time engaged. This is what I would be looking for, is time engaged in the content. Then I can actually go deeper into this um, and kind of go like a progress view and see little pie charts for you guys. Um, so I can go to different people and see the pie charts for like what they're working on. And this is how like when we come back together or when my um, when my guest teacher would come and take over, this is how I would know what do we need to practice. So if I come here, I'm in seventh grade math and I go to geometry and I look at what have we been doing, not a lot, right? There's really not much progress been made on geometry because progress would be right here because we, we're just starting. Right, so all of this is like people that were clicking on things this morning, and then I can go into there and see who did what. Well, whoever ZE0064 is, they practiced this. MC0004, they Whoa. mastered this. Okay. And that's see. probably Maze. If I were to guess, oh, that's probably Maze. Right? Oh, it might be. It could be. So since you mentioned things about like what we were practicing in math, since we're on like the info thing, since school is about to end for the next three weeks. Well, not me. Yeah. Like, you won't be allowed like, to be yeah. here. Yeah. So, like, what will we come back to? We'll just be finishing these problems. Yeah. No. So, it. my advice would be to, like, try to wrap up that mastery that you're going to take home. Um, and then who knows when I'll see it again, but please try not to lose it. My advice for you would be practice geometry. You can do expressions, equations, and equalities if you want, but rates and proportional relationships is our next chapter. So actually, the question you were asking is exactly a question people this morning were asking of like, well, what are we going to miss, actually? We were about to head into Chapter 7, right? Chapter 7 is all rates and proportions. So as a reminder, a proportion 
Is just a fraction equal to a fraction? We'll go back to that in a minute if you want. So remember, with a proportion, we can only multiply or divide. Multiplication by a half is the same thing as division by two. So I can divide on top bottom, or I can multiply on top bottom, but I cannot add or subtract. Right, so that's rates and proportions. So like a proportion is a fraction equal to a fraction. And then they, we're gonna do a little bit with geometry and scale figures. We already have done scale factor a little bit. Then chapter eight, excuse me, this gets more into the um, statistics and a little bit of geometry here. This chapter is very disjointed. Statistics and angle relationships don't go together at all. It's just the two different sections of the chapter. So statistics is all of that analyzing data, right? People respond, we analyze it, we find the mean or we find the median, that stuff. Then um, building shapes, comparing shapes, working with angles. We haven't done much of that. So if I was you, I would practice geometry in Khan Academy, like I said. And then chapter nine, which really just kind of wraps it all back together, but this gets into volume. This gets into circles and area and volume. More geometry, right? So the main stuff I would suggest for you to practice is geometry down here, but also statistics and probability. So these last two sections would be great. But if I just go into my mission, it will guide me. It will figure out what I know based off what I do, and it will guide me to the next things. Mission's the easiest way to not make decisions. You just click mission and you go. You just keep working. Whatever it throws at you, you keep working. And the thing I like about mission is it kind of randomizes things, so you don't get bored. It won't give you 20 expression problems in a row. It'll give you a variety of things, testing out like how comfortable are we. So let's talk about your mastery. I have no idea what's really gonna happen with this, but it is a mastery. I know realistically we don't have time to get done today and talk about Khan Academy, because now we have like 10 minutes left, like 15, 13. So I'm giving this back to you. It is yours to keep track of and not lose. Finish it, because at some point, depending on how long this is gonna go, I may ask that you or your parents take pictures of your work and send it to me. Now that would be a pain in my butt to grade, but we gotta figure out what to do, or we're just gonna use Khan Academy Progress to do this, but finish this, because at some point I'm gonna ask for it back. Okay, yes, ma'am. Uh, do you want to keep it for me in my mind so you can help me with that? Uh, it takes too much time on just whatever. You can if you want to get rid of it. I'm not, not saying no, don't do it, but like you don't have to. You don't stress about it. Can you grade it after you come back? Because after you come back, you'll see. Yeah, everything is going to get messed up, and especially just like you guys asking about things in math. It's, that's all going to, we're going to meet as a staff and talk about how we move forward. But guys, at this point, these are yours to keep, so you might want to staple them. Watch these and stuff. Depends what the guest teacher wants to do. If you guys have already been doing Khan Academy, he may decide to just do Khan Academy. It will be up to him. Yes. I'd rather you work on this right now, but that's up to you. Um, we're going to talk with you guys all about that after lunch. We're going to have a team meeting. About spring break influence. Yeah. Again, we don't, I mean, that would be my hope, but we don't know exactly what's going to be asked of you. Do you know what you're doing? You have to do something. Well, I'm not really telling you. No, I'm not really telling you. It's about continuing to practice those skills. Yeah, so like, I mean, yeah, that would be great, but I would still ask the next one to get on and practice. Have you done them? Just because they know as soon as they come back, they're not going to do it. Max, Max, are you done then too? Where's Max? Max is right here. Max, are you done with your test? Oh, I have one more problem. Here. Uh, I need to I have a question. I'm not going to how you look. Alright, so we are working on your masteries. Or, Kieran's not here today, right? And neither is Kaylin. And. Even is done. Maybe he can do something more. Mm. That's going to be a 
Um, I had a thought. I lost it. Oh, any questions you have on the test or anything right now, just go ahead and hang on to them. Um, I will probably end up making a chalk talk where we potentially just grade your own test. Um, the more I think about what to do with this, I know problem 11 is tough. I know 12 and 13 and 14 are probably tough as well. Like, that's on purpose. For me. For me. So for the next eight minutes, we should just be working on that mastery. And then you are taking it with you to finish it. That doesn't mean you finish it three weeks from now and you're like, oh crap, we're going back to school. I would finish it soon so you don't forget about it. So, oh, and I need you to put your Chromebooks away at some point in the next eight minutes, please. Oh, this is the one part I forgot to say. On Monday, I will post a message on Schoology. Letting you know what's been communicated to us and what's expected out of you. So check Schoology, not like Monday at 8 a.m. Check Schoology like late on Monday or on Tuesday. Because we're, like we teachers, will be in on Monday figuring out the exact details of what's expected out of you guys and out of us. So what I'm hearing is check Schoology, but there will be work with me. Check Schoology and I will probably tell you to do Khan Academy. Yeah, obviously that is something that we should do together. Like, there won't be, like, any other Correct. I'm not going to, like, post the worksheet download, print, and do this. Because I realized last night when I was trying to plan this out, the Khan Academy was making more sense. Okay. Let's play the what if game. Not you guys playing it. If we end up, especially if this break gets extended and or, like, we don't come back, because who knows, your goal would be to best prepare yourself for 8th grade. Your goal would be to be at 100% of Khan Academy 7th grade. I'm not saying that's what needs to happen for you to like pass 7th grade, but think about it. If I'm at like 20% of 7th grade content and I go to start 8th grade math, I'm gonna struggle. See guys, this is not, like we talked about this morning, this is not playing gotcha, and this is not, you have to do this, like, it's about you. Right? It's not about us. It's not about what like Dr. Bauer told. It's about you knowing what you should know, and you being able to like make it through the world. So, as a few of you were like, "Oh, that's cool!" Like, go back to it. Like, these pictures are me working with Math Eight to figure out a right triangle problem. Like, literally, I put up patio lights at my friend's house, and this is my patio at my house. Like, there's math all around us. This is patty. Lighting on these are that's a marker. I was gonna say but, it's cool because you made like a like a like a square. Yeah, so it's like diagonal, right? It zigzags. So guys, it's not about here, I'll scroll down and show you the other picture. Can you see the other angle? Yep, there I built that patio. That's cool. Yeah. That's a six hundred square foot patio that I built because I know math. And I can apply math. Once you know it, it's not hard anymore can use it to do things. So guys, please don't look at Khan Academy as what do I have to do. It's what should I do to make sure I don't end up dumber in a month than I am right now. Because we're all kind of dumb. Right? We're trying to be as not dumb as possible. Right? We're trying to be as not dumb as possible. I make some dumb choices sometimes. We're all kind of dumb. I mean, that tree, like that tree, yeah, no, that giant tree is a willow tree that like made me fall in love with the house. All these plants I bought and planted and everything, and all these plants are inside my house right now. 